Well, and another problem given to us is uh, like magnify the triangle with the vertices A, B, and C to twice its size while keeping uh, the point C 5 and 2 fixed. Okay, here is the triangle. So it is given to us that A having the coordinate 0, 0, B 1, 1, and C 5, 2. And we have to magnify this triangle. That means we have to increase its size uh, by the factor of 2. Okay, so we are going to simply we are going to uh, apply the uh, scaling by a factor of two. Okay, and the constraint here is that we have to keep this point fixed. As we apply the scaling on this object, obviously, uh, that simply means that we have to increase its dimensions, uh, all the dimensions uh, proportionally. Uh, you know we have to double its size so all the, its uh, dimensions will get increased obviously the point c will get delocalized it will get changed but uh, we have to make sure that this point will never get changed okay this point should be fixed so applying the simple scaling uh, wouldn't give us the perfect answer so what we can do uh, we can take the support of some other uh, transformations and some other um, you know graphic operations so basically uh, what are the steps that we are going to take uh, look here so first of all uh, we will um, translate this object in such a way that uh, the c will uh, c should come up at the origin okay so we will translate this object uh, minus 5 units on the x axis and minus 2 units on the y axis because the coordinate values of the c uh, is uh, 5 and 2 so uh, when we uh, translate this object like this so c will come up at origin okay and now if we will apply the uh, translation uh, sorry if we will apply the scaling here so the coordinates of the c will not get changed because its coordinates are now at 0 0 so if we will multiply any number with the 0 0 it will always remain 0 0 fine so this wouldn't get changed so now it's time to apply the scaling on this object as we apply the scaling by a factor of 2 this will enlarge this object or we can say that magnify its uh, dimensions uh, twice its actual size here you can see that okay b will get changed c will get a will get changed but c wouldn't get changed okay now this object that is a dash b dash and c dash is the magnified object okay but uh, as we have taken the, the translation for the sport so we have to undo this translation we have to bring it back to its actual position okay so what we will do here you can see that again we will translate this object with five units on the uh, positive x-axis and two units on the positive y-axis okay so this c will come up at its actual position that is five two now this object that is uh, a double dash b double dash and c double dash is the magnified object and its uh, c coordinate that c point is fixed in its actual position okay so um, here uh, how we will retrieve it and that is first we are going to translate this in the minus 5 and minus 2 unit okay then we will perform the scaling and then again we will undo that translation uh, as we have performed in the minus 5 minus 2 so here we will perform it uh, plus 5 plus 2 okay this will cancel out its effect and as we have taken this translation for the support matter our actual operation was scaling fine and all of these three matrix will perform uh, will uh, you know make a composite matrix multiplication of all of these three matrix will make a composite matrix that's called the m okay and then we have to multiply the coordinate values of a triangle abc with this composite matrix in order to retrieve the final coordinates of the magnified object okay so here we can say that our translation uh, in minus 5 minus 2 will be written like this this is the translation in x direction and translation in y direction okay and scaling as we have to double its size so simply means our scaling factor should be 2 okay twice its size and applying the scaling factor in the scaling matrix that is this okay and then again we have to perform the translation in the positive direction so that will be like this okay and our coordinate values the matrix coordinate matrix will be like this first coordinate is 0 0 and second coordinate is 1 1 and third coordinate is 5 2 
okay this one is because of the homogeneous form and as we have discussed all those translation matrix and all those graphic transformation matrices in the previous videos fine now we have to multiply these three matrix and remember one thing we are not allowed to change their orders because it will completely change the definition of uh, this problem fine but as all of these three matrix are three by three okay so that means we are uh, allowed to multiply them because their inner dimensions are getting matched and we are uh, we have arranged them in the column wise okay like first coordinate in column second coordinate in the column order and third coordinate in the column order so that means all of the matrices are in the column major as those matrix are in the column major so what we will do we will first multiply this matrix with this and then their result will be multiplied with this so that means if the matrices are uh, in, in the column order in the column major so we will start executing from here we will start multiplying from here from the uh, right hand side towards the left hand side in the composite matrix fine and if you will arrange them in the row major you will simply start multiplying from uh, the left hand side towards the right hand side okay and why it is so I have already discussed in the early videos so first of all we will uh, write down the positive translation then scaling then negative translation okay then these coordinate values so first of all these two matrix will get multiplied and the result will be like this then this matrix will get multiplied with this matrix okay and inside these curly braces we will finally come up with this okay and now this matrices will get multiplied with the final values uh, of the co final coordinate values final vertices and this will give us the final vertices okay and here you can see that our final matrix is like this so that means uh, minus 5 minus 2 here is the minus 5 minus 2 okay minus 3 and 0 so here is our minus 3 and 0 and 5 and 2 here is our 5 and 2 as it was given to us that the point c that is 5 and 2 should remain uh, at fixed so it's at fixed position fine so this is how we will solve such problems we will see more problems further